issue that's um, very important to our country. It involves our food supply. It involves thousands of jobs. And while it may appear just to affect one state, the input we're getting from around the country is that this is very much a national issue. And I have an amendment to address it, which I would like to discuss. Uh, this is an amendment where I believe if we would take the time, we could find agreement. It addresses a major problem uh, in the, uh, the senator from California state, um, but it also addresses a problem that affects the nation's food supply uh, by ba allowing us to focus on balancing jobs, economy, food with environmental laws. As the chairman knows, there's a major water problem in California's Central ba Valley. Some very narrowly interested environmental groups have used the Endangered Species Act to shut off water to a region that produces 13% of the nation's food supply. The result has been devastating. The land is dry, crops have been destroyed, and tens of thousands of jobs, tens of thousands of people are out of work. A recent University of California Davis study found that up to 40,000 jobs will be lost by the end of this year. And in one city, the unemployment rate has reached 40%. Mr. President, this is certainly a local water crisis, but it's also become a national issue. The problem has been the subject of several national television programs, and people across the country are beginning to realize that this problem on the West Coast could touch us all in the form of higher food prices if we don't address it. It is also another precedent that affects my state as environmental, environmentalists have, have really swung the balance away from good economy and jobs to something that seems much more radical to us, the development of our port uh, in South Carolina, the passage of, of ships, uh, and you see development all over the country being affected. So we need to focus on this issue in this bill, and this is a good place for the amendment. It's almost impossible to overstate the value of California's agriculture to the, the nation's economy, um, most of which um, is produced, most of the food supply that we're talking about is right in the Central Valley. Uh, this region provides the lion's share of California's crops, which account for, and I want to stress this, 94% of America's tomatoes, 93% of our broccoli, 89% of our carrots, 86% of our garlic, 78% of our lettuce, 90% of our strawberries, and 88% of our grapes. Just to name a few, we can hardly say this is the issue of one state. This is a national issue that we need to address. People are also coming to realize that if we don't begin to bring a measure of balance back to our environmental laws, special interest groups and activist courts will be able to use this statute and others to destroy thousands of jobs at a time when our country is in recession. I want to thank the chairman of the subcommittee for her work on this issue. The senior senator from California has been a leader here. She's pledged to work with the Department of Interior to find a solution, and she recently called for an independent review of the science underlying the two biological opinions that created this man-made drought. My amendment today is very simple and represents a modest and balanced approach. It turns the water back on for one year to provide time for all leaders at the local, state, and federal le levels to find a long-term solution. But it will also give farmers the predictability they need to plan for next year's crops. They can't make the loans and get the seeds and plow the fields if they know in December the water will be turned off again and won't be turned back on until after July. You can't farm with that type of unpredictability. And Mr. President, I know there are those who say there is no problem because the pumps are currently on. But those pumps are set to shut off in December, leaving Central Valley farms dry as planting season comes around. I would add that my amendment has precedent. 
In fact, the last time that this environmental provision was waived was in 2003, when water was turned off in New Mexico. That time, the Senate voted unanimously for a bill that included a complete waiver of ESA for two years, which was even more aggressive than what I'm proposing today. I know this is a very important issue to the Senator from California, and I hope she will support my amendment. I know many people are working on long-term solutions, but we need to do something now. The provision in the bill to study this is likely to take two years. We're likely to lose another two years of, of farm products, as well as thousands of jobs in the Central Valley. This is not something that I've made up on my own here. A number of, of groups, farm groups in California, as well as the National Council, the National Cotton Council of America, the Tulare County Farm Bureau, Fresno County Farm Bureau, Kings County Farm Bureau, Families Protecting the Valley, Westlands Water District. I've got a whole page of large groups that involve many jobs and families in California and across the country that are supporting this amendment, which won't cost the taxpayers anything, but will actually create jobs, put people back to work, and expand the nation's food supply. We cannot allow a judge or a radical environmental group to cut off water to people who are producing the nation's food supply. My amendment would address this, I think, in a very reasonable way, and I'd call on the senator from California to work with me and support this. Uh, and at this time, I'd like to ask unanimous consent to set aside the pending amendment and send my amendment to the desk. Is there objection? Mr. President, uh, I would object, but I would like to Objection have is the opportunity heard. to say why after the senator finishes. Senator from South Carolina. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, well, I'm disappointed that we're not able to put this on the floor for debate. Certainly, it relates to the underlying bill, and, uh, and since there are so many people and jobs across the country uh, depending on us doing something quickly, uh, I'd like to send a motion to the desk. The clerk will report the motion. The Senator from South Carolina, Mr. DeMent, moves to recommit the bill H.R. 2997 to the Committee on Appropriations of the Senate with instructions to report the same back to the Senate forthwith with the following amendment numbered 2500. At the appropriate place, insert the following. None of the funds made available by this act may be used by the Secretary of the Interior to restrict, reduce, or reallocate any water as determined in one, the biological opinion published by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service and dated December 15, 2008, and two, the biological opinion published by the National Marine Fisheries Service and dated June 4, 2009. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank the Senator from California. I look forward to more discussion on this because I know there are many people here in the Senate concerned about the same issue. There may be better ways to resolve the problem, and I'm certainly open to work with anyone. But this is an immediate problem. We cannot continue to spend trillions of dollars of taxpayer money to create jobs in this country while we're allowing our government agencies to shut down jobs.